Good evening everyone, it's been a little while. I've got an unboxing to do for you this evening. I uh, don't know quite how Edie have managed to get this to me as quickly. Thank you very much Mike and Sue. I will of course include a link to this figure which I'm totally hyped for in the description below and can never recommend everything down so highly enough. This is a figure I've been greatly anticipating for a while. It's been out for a little while. You know me, I wouldn't buy them from anywhere else. This is of course one of everybody's favourite dinosaurs. Not from everybody's favourite company, it must be said, but I really seem to have pulled out all the stops for this one and I just knew when I showed the first promotional images that I was definitely going to need to get this one. I'm sure most of you probably guess what it is. Of course, it's not my favourite dinosaur. If you watch the channel for a while, you know my favourite dinosaur. Here's of course our source for Gillosaur Jim Um and of course if you've been following Creative Studio you know that he has reveals uh, a design for an Allosaurus uh, Jim Zeni. So yes, here comes Rebo's latest take on the Tyrant King. I cannot wait to open her up so I'll do that for you now. Beautifully packed as ever. Everything from everything dinosaur always is. Standard Rebo box. Beautifully packaged. They really did set, start something off when they, they did this. Uh, you know, a lot of companies, the likes of Nanu, um, followed suit. And this is a really hefty box, I must say. Are we? I might keep all my boxes. I'm a bit of a hoarder. You should see how I loft. So they've updated their information card here. The original one was a little bit science like, but it was cute, you know? I mean, when Rebo first came out, it really was like they were trying. Uh, to be museum quality and the scopes always have been so we've got a little pier stand here and first off in the top of the box looks a little bit like something for the butchers up the stage <laughs> they've been beautifully packed up of course three ball it helps them to create smaller packages for the figures i think but they also do this to try and limit bootlegging i don't know how effective that truly is so we've got this sort of detachable flexible tail um, that's got some quite good heft to it. I'm just straightening it out there. The ends, I don't feel that the wire goes all the way to the end because that end is a little bit curved there. But that's, uh, there's definitely enough movement in that. And right, let's get to the body. The kiss this version is. I know there are two versions for those who prefer their Rexes without lips and who also prefer them with. Because it's more common for Tyrannosaurus Rex to do pick, be depicted without lips, I decided to go for Kiss on this occasion. Now that's a controversial look. I know even some um, Tyrannosaur uh, workers find it a bit of a controversial decision because of the shape of the jaws of T-Rex to put that much soft tissue on the lower uh, jaw, on the mandible. So I should just pop in there. I know that there have been some issues with people finding this tail a little tight and then there being a bit of a seam, I fully intend to rectify that. But in the hand, it honestly doesn't look as bad as I expected it to. I've only just given it a little push there. I haven't pushed it particularly hard. It's a little bit more a squeeze. There's a little bit of flex in one of the arms here. I don't think you'd really want to pose them too much. Oh wow, holding this figure in the hand, what an absolute beauty it is. The coloration and everything, absolutely stunning. How hefty and yet graceful that is. How frightened you would be of a creature that looked like this coming towards you. You know they've really done T-Rex justice here. As you can see, the mouth here is closed fully and there is no break in that lip seal. I've got a feeling that once I do pop the mouth open here, it might spring and fail to go back together properly, but I honestly don't mind that. Um, this is incredibly well done. Beautiful texturing on the scales and the body and those golden eyes. Let's see if I get a focus on on Kiss here. It's just absolutely stunning. I wonder if they'll do her in any different colour variations, but this one certainly is very, very pleasant. That's a stiff jaw. I'm going to have to probably take some hot water to that, but I'll do that later. <laughs> I'm having a closer look. Oh, this is my lips and figure. You can just see edge sculpture in the background here of a sort of Jurassic Park type T Rex and the difference is quite uh, quite something. It's lovely to see T-Rex depicted more as a 
is a genuine animal and a monster here because it is still absolutely petrifying you think you know crocodiles great white sharks large birds of prey all pretty scary t-rex wouldn't have not been scary <laughs> and Revo here with the amount of detailing and the subtleties they've put into this they've really done a grand job so i'm absolutely hyped to have a closer look at this i can't wait um, i'm going to go and get some hot water on this jaw and take a closer look and uh, probably spend the rest of the evening really looking at this figure really admiring it from every single viewpoint it's absolutely absolutely something else absolutely petrifying looking down those eyes there marvelous stuff from Rebo. and thank you very much mike and sue at everything dinosaur Platinum award winning service and then some. I know how incredibly busy you are at the minute, so this is greatly appreciated. And I hope you've all enjoyed having a look at this figure with me, and I hope to see you in the next video.